Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop, Lightroom, Adobe Camera Raw, Photoshop Elements, and Photoshop Touch. In this video, I'll be looking at the very powerful but extraordinarily easy Match Color command. Let's jump into Photoshop and see how we get on. So here we are, I've got my room, and what I want to do here is put some fire on it. So I've got this nice file here called Floor Fire. Now all the images I'm using throughout this video I've got from Photolia, a brilliant stock website. I urge you to go and take a look around. I'm going to get my Move tool and just drag this one over to my room picture and then drop that down. I'm going to hold Shift to keep it central, then just move it around, Control T, Command T on a Mac, just to resize that, and there we go. I'm going to drop that into screen. And there we have our fire. Now one of the things that isn't very convincing about this is that the fire should be illuminating the rest of our room. So if I highlight on our background layer, and I'm going to duplicate that, Control J on a PC, Command J on a Mac. And then I'm going to come up to Image and Adjustments and then Match Color. Now this is destructive, hence I'm doing it on a new layer, but it can't be run on a smart object, unfortunately, at this point. So here we go. Now, first thing I'm going to do is come down to Image Statistics, ignore those first two, and go to Source at the moment. It says None. If I click the downward facing arrow, up come a list of all the images that I have open currently. Now the one I'm interested in is Floor Fire, because that's what I'm using to create this picture. So if I click on that, there's my result. Now I can change the luminance. I'm going to do this to the very end so you can see how they're working. That's one way, and then down to the other. Let's bring that back into the middle. I can change my color intensity, which is all very good. Let's bring that one down. We get some nice effects there. Let's just keep that just below the, the default there. And then fade, which I'm going to keep at zero because I can change the opacity when I've clicked OK. So there we go. Let's click OK and see how we've got on. Well, it's OK. It's not very convincing. And here's the reason why. The picture we got it from is nice and orangey, but there's plenty of black as well. And that's going to affect how we match the color in our original. So let's go back to my room. And I'm going to get rid of the background copy and keep the fire, but duplicate the background. Control J again, Command J on a Mac. This time I've got another one open, another picture called Hot Spot Fire, again from Photolia. I go back to my room and let's go to Image, excuse me, Image, Adjustments and Color Match. And this time from the drop down menu, I can choose any of these, of course. So let's go for Hot Spot Fire. And this gives us a far more dynamic result. Now, again, I can change the luminancy, I can change the color intensity should I wish. Let's have a good fiddle around there. It's looking good. And of course, I can choose to fade this out, should I wish as well. But again, I'm going to do that when I click OK. So let's click OK there and reduce the opacity of that just to bring back some of the original color. And I've got a better result than what I did using the actual fire that I bought in in the first place. So that's one use of it. Let's have a look at another. Let's go to Summer Portrait and this nice picture of a young lady out in the sunshine, again from Photolia. Now what I'd like to do is alter the colors, this time to this Autumn Avenue. So let's try that again. So back to Summer Portrait, Image, Adjustments and Match Color. And again, I choose the one I'm looking for, Autumn Avenue. And it's giving me a nice effect straight away. So let's have a look at these again, looking nice. But look what happens if I take the color intensity up, not so nice, but down, I get this kind of cross processing kind of look to it, which is quite nice. Let's take that back up a little bit. We still want it to be a little bit warmer and click OK. And there we have it. Very nice. Now, of course, I didn't duplicate the layer this time. So let's Control Z that and Control J to duplicate. And now I'm going to go to Image and Adjustments. And then this time, match color and choose a completely different one this time is called gray tree there it is it's rather dark it's rather gray 
but what lovely tones it has for a nice black and white. So there we go, I can change again the luminance of this. And that's looking good. I'm happy with that. I can bring back a little bit of the colour should I wish. Bring it, give it that kind of washed out effect. Or I can take it right down as well. But a very easy way to do a nice black and white if I found a black and white toned photograph that I already like. Let's click OK. So there we go. The very simple but very powerful match colour command right here in Photoshop. I'm Eric Reno. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.